Enox Grove, Clay will meet you there. <laughs> I am being sent directly into someone's brain. This is all highly unlikely. Please don't hurt yourself trying to understand. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from impossible nonsense. On you go. the mind of a psycho. Usually something rusty and sharp. But what about their thoughts? Their memories? Their dreams? I have studied the psychos of Pandora for decades, and I believe they all share something in common. A single idea so powerful that it breaks any mind that contains it. I call it Vault Hala. This is Krieg. He's a Crimson Raider, a friend, and most importantly for today, a psycho. Say hello, Krieg. Maggots wriggling down into the fester! Communication is not his strong suit, but yours wouldn't be either if your mind looked like his. As such, in order to get answers, we must seek them out ourselves. What is the origin of a psycho? What lies within Valhalla? We are about to find out. This is the mind of a vicious predator. Tamis, are you certain I am in the right place? I doubt I made a mistake. I do not usually do that. Why? What are you seeing? War <laughs> for the little flies who fester in the grass. Do not, Tannis. This is it. Wonderful. Never question me again. Now, see if you can make contact with Krieg's inner consciousness. We must find Valhalla. <laughs> I'm not gonna survive my friend here's welcoming party, but I've got a place we can talk. Come on in. I'm just on the other side. But back in for 
worth cutting were the good worth. Sorry about all that. The madman pretty much runs everything these days. The rest of the place is pretty. Stuck in here together, we might as well find a way to pass the time. I've got a joke. Ready? Perversion diversion! Okay, here goes. Why did the skag cross the road? Welcome to my home, I guess. I'm not, uh, really used to having guests around here. Who are you? Yo, I'm Mose. And if that yep. was Creek back there, who are you? Well, I'm also Creek. At least... I'm the part that remembers how to be more than a screaming murder machine. How did you even get in here? Tannis plugged me into your brain to find the thing that makes you a psycho. Called it Valhalla. Tannis, huh? Should have guessed. As for what makes the madman mad, I wondered that myself. But I don't think he wants me to know. See that? If your so-called Valhalla is anywhere, that's where it'll be. He's kept me out of there for as long as I can remember. Maybe you can sneak in, though. Worth a shot. What I wouldn't give to be rid of this guy. You're my own saucy amputation. Good, we're on the same page. Maybe I'll just leave with the Vault Hunter. I doubt that is an option. Think about it. If Tannis can get you in, she can probably get me out, right? Maybe put me in, like, a robot body? That'd be cool. At this point, though, as long as I don't have to deal with this guy anymore, I'd settle for being a lump in a mayonnaise jar. Hmm. <clears throat> Tannis, can you do that? Oh, absolutely. You can store a human mind on a memory card the size of a postage stamp. I have a drawer full. But, as requested, I will track down a mayonnaise jar. Hey, you hear that, man? All you gotta do is open up the door to Vault Hollow for our guest, and then you get what you've always wanted. Me out of here. For good. Cut the chain link to razor ribbons. Let's dance the blades! Sounds like he's just as excited to be rid of me as I am to leave. All right, man. Where are the keys? Ruins astray! What do you mean you lost them? Of course. Look who I'm talking to. Polish the chalice! Shine a spittoon! Make mirrors of monsters! Okay. He's saying we gotta go through his... my... our brain and find the parts of this statue. We need a buzz axe, a gauntlet, and a mask. <laughs> the screaming can opener! Ah, an orb. What is its purpose? Chase the meaty man! before this guy had his way with it. <clears throat> Hope you're up for some weird stuff, Vault Hunter. <laughs> Alright, man. What's first on this little scavenger?